Sounds like you know a lot about, you understand greatly about purpose, which is good to see. I think you mentioned you've seen the, the video I made on it. Yeah. You learn a lot from it. Thank you. The thing I'm thinking right now is, I don't want to dampen your spirits at all. It's amazing seeing a young man who's, who's feeling purpose was well, it's awesome. It's just, just note that I was certain that my purpose was X, and then it turned out that it wasn't. And that seems to be a very common theme in masculine men who are on this journey. That it seems like, okay, I see everything, I know exactly what I'm going to do. And then you do the thing, and then you do it a little bit, and you have a few false starts, and then you realize that the, the real purpose was something that was kind of related, but wasn't actually the thing that you thought it was. So it's just something to bear in mind that that seems to happen a lot. Now, I'm not saying it's totally happening to you that you're like wrong or anything, but often what we think we should do is influenced into us by society, by people in that Discord server, by like you know, what you watch, and all these other things that sometimes it's not actually the right thing for us. And for example, your core purpose, you know, eventually you can make Empire of Man into like a big corporation and that's like, you know, this, this company that, that um, puts people through self-improvement programs or something, you know, it becomes this global movement and maybe it's the social media channel or it's like this this community that people feel part of. It becomes a brand, it becomes a, um, you know, clothing and, you know, people start to like identify with it. But it could also not be. It could also be that the Empire of Man is, is actually in all of what you see is actually just in the current layer, not so much of like the grand vision of, you know, changing the entire world, but more so of like making Empire of Man a success and helping enough people. Because when you start to almost quantify these spiritual pursuits that we have, think we want to help 1 million people, or we want to help, um, we want to make 1 million dollars a month, or whatever it is, you, you must know that that, your spiritual energy doesn't care about metrics. And so there's going to be a point where you feel fulfilled, and it's likely going to be before the point that you actually think, even though I still think it's amazing to set the massive goal, because you may as well, you have to make sure that you're thinking long-term and everything. Maybe this layer is going to be more like one to two years. We're going to make Empire of Man into a pretty big brand. Maybe you'll get to like a million subscribers, you've helped a million people. And then after that, you might start to like dislike the whole thing. You might start to find it a bit pointless. And that's where this layer will, will shed. I still believe that you probably are spot on with like the core desire, but I think the vehicle to achieve the core desire might not be what you think it is. Your core desire probably is to help people to get them onto self-improvement. That sounds like it could be. But I just think it would be potentially a smarter thing to consider that the vehicle that you currently have is probably not the vehicle that you would continue using for five to 10 years because new vehicles, you know, new ways to spread this message keep coming around. So eventually it's like, you might rebrand. There might be like a whole new like metaverse that we're all living in and your things are going to change so much that I wouldn't, assume that I'm going to be part of like this Discord server for 80 years and it, it, it's, this is the thing that's going to change the world, but rather that this is the current obsession that will last, I'd assume, let's say one to two years, and we're going to make Empire of Man a success, and we're, the goal I set is like one million subscribers in two years, which is then, you know, it's, it's not certainly the entire world, but it's a big chunk of it, especially for the people that you can relate to, like the young men around the world. I would personally, that this isn't to, to, you know, turn down your dream at all, it's just that from, my, if I could go back and speak to my younger self, I would try and tell him in a way that didn't sound condescending, but I would just try and tell him like from what I experienced and I've seen in other guys, what you think your purpose is, it's not always true and you should be open to the idea of being wrong in the book the way the superior man even says in that purpose in, in um, chapter nine there's just a few words he's describing someone who's finding his purpose and he says he has a few false starts that drives him crazy and you you almost glance over that when you read it up until you had those false starts and i read that one little sentence and i was like whoa that's so true i'm literally just just i've been to dubai i've been to thailand and i just moved into the Muay Thai camp and everything thinking okay this thing's the purpose this thing's the purpose so it's just something to, to bear in mind what do you think about that um that is an interesting point and looking back at my experience so far with what I've been doing for the Empire Man, I have noticed that I do focus on all kinds of different things. So it could be social media, or it could be building relationships and friendships with the volunteers that are all contributing uh, to this vision. So they're all different, but they're all related um, to the core. So I could, I guess maybe my problem then is that I know to an extent I have some degree of clarity on the core purpose, but there are so many different ways in which I can achieve that. And I think that is my, uh, that represents my purpose layers all these different ways and then i guess my problem is finding what is the current one i guess again the most outermost layer mm. and when you said that you kind of could see multiple purpose layers that you you were going to dedicate your life to were they different vehicles for empire of man so one purpose layer is going to be about the youtube channel then another one's going to be about this kind of uh, vehicle and then we're going to make apparel then we're going to you know, level the discord server more and then we're going to write a book was it like that yeah but then again there was none of that order it was like i want to do all of this at once and mm. i see that all of these ideas are super valuable and must be realized. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Vladimir, I, I would personally say that it would serve you more to not consider any of that as purpose layers, rather that the whole bucket you're in right now is your purpose layer with Empire of Man and to spread this message. And inside of this are then just vehicles you can choose from. And I don't think it would be smart to consider that each vehicle is a purpose layer in and of itself. And to rather consider what like sound business practice and productivity tactics are, which is like, oh, choose the one that you can be most impactful with that has the highest leverage and go all in on that. On that. So it would be, in my opinion, the way that I would do things, like how I did it with my YouTube channel. You, you experiment a little bit first, okay, there's writing blogs, writing ebooks, write um, YouTube videos and tweets and whatever you want to do. But I wouldn't see each one of these as like, okay, not like in, in order, I guess, but like, you know, okay, this needs to be fulfilled for this, this grand vision. Because at that point then, 
it'll be very likely that it'll be just another like YouTube brand that's got like 700 subscribers who's also growing a TikTok who's also writing a book and stuff and it's like it never takes off because no one knows you and your attention spreads so thin so if you really want to make this thing into a success it's like we need to lose a bit of the deep thinking and go to the basic level of like productivity and just think okay, well, what's the 80 20 what's the single most impactful platform or, or uh, form of media or whatever it is media or code really that will have the highest impact